CataractCoach.com Ruptured Globe Needle Penetration. So combined anterior and posterior segment approach is going to be best. Now this poor patient was doing some work and a little needle or thin wire penetrated in the eye. Now was the needle was pulled out in the clinic and a little glue was placed on the cornea and patient okay, but then a few weeks later, patient ended up developing this white cataract. And so patient developed white cataract. Patient also had a lot of vitreous debris as seen on B-scan ultrasound. So preparation here is gonna be a combined anterior and posterior approach. So you can see here breaking the sneakye, using a paracentesis and a cannula with viscoelastic. A second paracentesis is often help. There you go, read my mind. I'm watching the video for the first time with you so we can enjoy together. And now let's see, um, perhaps making incisions for iris hooks. Yeah, there we go. Iris hooks going in. If you need them, use them. That's why they're there. So make the incisions, put the iris hooks in, expand that pupil. And then let's see what we're going to figure out with this lens. Now, the nice part about doing the anterior and posterior approach at the same time is, you know, if there is a rupture of the posterior capsule, which there probably is already in this case, doesn't really matter if things fall back in the vitreous cavity because you can just do the full parts plane lensectomy, vitrectomy, etc. Now, important here, I like this technique of painting on the tripan blue dye. Don't just do a big fill everywhere. So just a little bit of painting is enough because again, you don't know status is on your support. You don't want any of this to go in the vitreous cavity. So poking in here, let's see with the cystotome, starting with some sort of rexus. The rexus here is important because remember, we're suspecting already a rupture of the posterior capsule. That means probably going to end up putting in like a three-piece lens with haptics and the sulcus and an optic capture. So you definitely want that centered up, round, pretty five millimeter rexus. And this looks pretty darn good. I like that a lot. Getting that rexus done. Now the lens should be pretty soft. Patient looked to be on the younger side of things. And again, this is a, a traumatic cataract from a punctured lens capsule. And again, they're not sure the extent of the injury, but that needle probably went pretty far back. So here, no phago probe needed, going in with just the IA probe, aspirating out that lens capsule, and then all this lens material should come up pretty easily. Again, nice. I like the technique of no hydro dissection. You don't really need it, and you don't, don't want these pieces to go back. And now let's take a look back there on the posterior. Is the capsule intact? Kind of hard to see. And so maybe uh, there wasn't tripan blue dye going back there, so maybe there just is a lot of vitreous debris. And so you're going to have to clean that up here. Now, fortunately, this patient did not get endophthalmitis from this injury. Oftentimes, these metallic things that go in the eye and come out don't cause too much issue there because they're not bringing in a lot of uh, microbiome material. But in this situation here as well, you want to make sure there is no other intraocular foreign body. Is this the sole one that was there? And so sometimes it behooves you, if you can't see back there, to do a very nice... Um, B scan ultrasound, but also an, a CT scan. A CT scan picks up metal really well. Just remember when you do it, do direct axial and coronal cuts and do very thin slices, a millimeter, millimeter and a half slices. So you can only pick that up. Now there's the lens as we predicted, three piece lens, haptics and the sulcus looks like an optic capture. Beautifully done here. And now it's time for the retina surgeon to take over, Dr. Shaw here. Now, and this is uh, oh, look, a lot of vitreous debris there just behind the posterior capsule. So. Not sure if this is just inflammatory response. Hopefully it's not some sort of infection. Doesn't really look like it, but uh, certainly doing a nice vitrectomy here. Also taking out some of that posterior lens capsule. Easy way to do it with the vitrector if you've got a scarred up or hazy posterior lens capsule. Easy to do it now. You won't have to worry about a YAG laser capsulotomy later. And so once that's cleaned up, here we go. Now looking back in the vitreous cavity, can do a full parts plane of vitrectomy. Make sure you check the retina very carefully. Make sure there's no damage there. And hey, remember about cataractcoach.com podcast, the top podcast on all of ophthalmology. I'm sure you'll love it. It's an hour every week, every Sunday, everywhere you find podcast services. And our sole purpose is to teach you how to be a more successful ophthalmologist. We're all learning together here. Now, finishing up the vitrectomy here, doing a good core vitrectomy. Not sure if the patient already has a PVD. If not, you can certainly create one. And then that's going to help a lot. Now, fortunately, the retina looks pretty normal. Look at that macula back there. It looks pretty reasonable. I'm hopeful that this patient's going to have a totally normal posterior segment otherwise and can have a great recovery of vision afterwards. Here's the end of the case, just closing things up here. Closing up that conjunctiva, taking out those iris hooks. And then again, this patient had a beautiful outcome there. Very nicely done. And what would you aim here for eye well calcs? Well, if the patient's probably plain on the other eye, I'd aim plain on this one too. This patient looks to be on the younger side, so probably still has good accommodation of the other eye. 
And then obviously this patient needs to have some better use of safety glasses to avoid these kind of injuries in the future. In fact, remember, you as ophthalmologists, I am so cautious. Whenever I do work around the house or any projects, I'm always wearing the safety glasses. I don't want to be that one ophthalmologist who didn't heed his own advice and didn't wear safety glasses and ends up with a ruptured globe. Here at the end of the case, nice 10 nylon sealing up that main incision. That's a reasonable approach here. And then this patient's going to have a beautiful outcome. Happy to see that. Interesting case. And the question here now is, how long before someone reports that cover picture to YouTube so then they'll take it down because it's just too gross to look at for the average patient? And, well, time will tell. We'll find out. So remember, again, thanks for sending this video in. You can send your video, too. Go to cataractcoach.com. There's a link on Cataract Coach. It says, hey, doctor, submit your video here. Click that link, full instructions. I'd love to feature your case.